Hello there, lovely people. Today, this is Pastor Tabitha Purple. If you don't know, if you've landed on my page by accident, hi, welcome to our page. Um, today, I'm doing something called a prayer journal, but I'm combining it with one of my other favorite journals. And so basically, I have this thing called Flow, the Paper Lovers edition. It's the book for paper lovers. And I'm kind of going to unbox it with you, and then I'm going to turn it into a, or unbox it. I've been working too much with my kids. I'm going to show you all about it on the inside um, and show you how I'm going to put it together as a journal for my prayer journaling. So as if you've watched one of the previous videos, you'll know that I love uh, that I have prayer journals. Um, this time I'm going to use the flow one because I want uh, this was a gift and I want to use it in a slightly different way. Um, I don't know how other people's prayer journals go, but I found that the technique I used last time was amazing. It really worked for me. And so I'm going to up the creative ante and try again. Um, the principle being that I'm going to use, I'll show you this journal, hold on. I'm going to use something like this. This is one, here's one I've made earlier, um, where you see it's got all the fancy pretty paper on the inside already done and I might show you bits and pieces of that where it's just really pretty and beautiful and has all of this expression spaces in it already um, and then I'm going to use this which is my post-it notes and then I can write my prayer request and my prayer things on here sometimes you're only writing small things for people sometimes um, I don't know about you but I maybe it's because of virtue of me being a pastor or just being a Christian sometimes people just tell me a name and can you pray for them other times I get a full story sometimes I just want to write a note about the date and the time of when I prayed for somebody and then just note it down to make sure that I actually keep a, a kind of rolling record of the prayers that I do um, and so that's something that um, I want to do so I'm going to take this and I'm going to turn it into this and this is going to be my new prayer journal. All right, you ready? Let me show you how it's done. Okay, so here's the journal. As you can see, I hope you can see most of it. Uh, trying to make sure that you can. Hopefully you can see all of it there. Good, excellent. So this is the prayer, this is the journal uh, that we have. I'm going to just move a few things out of your way. Don't need my lip balm in the shot. Here is the flow, the book for paper lovers. So I'm going to show you what we're aiming for. This is a previous edition. You can see it's the same thing. This is a previous edition of Flow where I've taken um, just the paper out of several different flows and made them into a journal. OK, and so here I can write whatever I want. Some of them, of course, are prettier papers than others. And the idea behind that being that I can journal, then smash journal. I can prayer journal, I can Bible journal, I can do any kind of journaling I like in here um, and use this as something as I go. So that's what we're aiming for. But this time with the very specific purpose of being a prayer journal. So we're going to take that principle and we're going to apply it to this flow. This has looks like it's going to have the theme of flowers. So we're going to have a look through. See, this is it was a gift. I've already unwrapped it. So I'm just going to put the wrapping paper to one side so that that's gone what you know about the flow journals is that they have normally perforation so this page is not perforated as you can see if i pull it but what you will see as we go on into the lovely magazine is that the perforations come and then you can tell that the idea is that we're going to take out all of the pages out of this and so it's quite a nice cover page especially for a prayer time to slow down and pray so that's really good. And then you can look at some of these artistic, beautiful papers that are going to be used. Um, these are gorgeous. This is great for, for prayer journaling. Actually, I have lots of space to write. It's already pretty. So half the work is done for me, which is amazing. I mean, this is just gorgeous. Look at this. So this is beautiful. I'm quite excited about having these in my prayer journal. So I love that. And see, perforation helps every time. Um, and so that is going to be a section of my prayer journal. Now these are stickers, so I'm going to put the stickers to one side. These are stickers, these are little cards, um, so I could write on one side, I could clip them together. So remind me to come back and do a video of this if I haven't had a chance, but remind me about that. Um, I'm going to try and take these out in one go, because if you take them out individually, they sometimes do that. So you lose the edges here and it becomes almost impossible. So I've learned a trick. Take them out in bigger clumps when you're doing the perforation and then you don't have so much fighting 
with this so for those of you that have watched the last video oh here look more beautiful pages to write on look at that that is just gorgeous um i'm obviously going to turn the paper over the other way because i write on one side of the paper so i always write on this side but i like it on this half of the page i don't like to write on that side i don't know why me being pedantic i guess but here we go so i'm going to take these ones out this is gorgeous i'm in love with this that's so beautiful i like the little beetles in the corner look how cute is that i only like beetles in pictures right i'm gonna try and take this off because it's in my way a bit so that i can see what i'm doing a bit clearer get rid of that okay then we have some great postcards here so i'm gonna try and pull those out in one go Whoop. what's this this my friend is at, oh look it's a pop-up tent how cute is that i think that might be a nice activity with the children or a card that you could send that might be quite nice to send as a card so i'm just going to pull this one out look at how cute these are embossed so you can feel that they're raised you see that then you can see that they're raised so they're embossed they have a great feel to them but those are great if you want to write scriptures down and send them to somebody or make your own little ring bind now these ones are envelopes so they have I don't know if you can see this is a light outline of where you can cut it out and fold it but because of the kind of person that I am I tend to just use the boxes as places to write different things in my journals so I think I'm not sure but I think I'm just going to use these in the journal together so I've got different kinds of paper and it's got a nice box here where I can put the main points and then I can write scriptures or ideas or prayer requests down the side so that's a nice thing oh what do we have here let's slide these out these look like postcards yes they are look at those gorgeous so aren't they gorgeous those are really lovely postcards but that leaves behind a nice divider page which is great got a couple of those these are oh these are very thick card okay so this very thick card i'm going to put to one side because i want to use it for something not in my prayer journal i think i think i don't want it in my prayer journal so i'm going to put that to one side this my friend is beautiful beautiful tissue paper so again not for inside but look at the beautiful colors on this the silvers golds the turquoise i think that's gorgeous i have a child who likes that all right we've got a time to plan now i'm going to tell you what i'm going to do with this section because i know exactly what this is so we've got this lovely divider page to tell you what's coming next i'm going to put this at the front of my journal my prayer journal so what i often get is daily messages and i'm going to just write down the names or the dates or the the information that i want to pray for just single bullet points that i'm going to write down for people who've requested prayer so i can keep prayer lists um if i don't want it to be done according to the to the month and i just want it to be a list i can always washi tape that um and use it slightly differently but i'm going to keep it and then obviously on the back half i still can write extra lists of course okay so that's really nice inspiring pages to keep prayer lists on and we're at december there we go so we've got some really lovely pictures some gorgeous artwork that you can have in your journal so i love this idea I've been able to keep a prayer list but I'm using a calendar as you know I like to use different methodologies so that's going to be the front portion because the time to plan I'm going to put a washi tape here and I'm going to make that say um, prayer list so that way if it's something that someone just sends to me that they want me to pray for I can just jot that down easily so again we have the sticker pages so remember what I told you you need to do these pages in bigger sections they're not as easy to pull out where they have the uh, cuts in them but look at these stickers they're very cute you will see those in my journaling at some point okay and now here we have the most gorgeous paper look at this 
look how pretty and in in uh the bottom it has different things so this one says giving thanks for pumpkin pie orange um and that's the colors dewdrops on a spider's web pearl so on and so forth look at those beautiful colors that they've got in here so it's really nice pause this Okay, so that's a few more paper pages done. What I have discovered is this, which is my year in books. It's a pullout, which is great. So you can use it uh, like that, or you can use it as a pullout. What I like is then if I'm reading a prayer book, if I'm uh, reading a great text in the Bible, I can just note them down in this. So this section is gonna go near my lists section. And then as we turn over the page from taking that out, we have these amazing little notebooks. Check these out. These are great. Um, so remember I said if I wanted to use, um, if I'm out and about and I, somebody asked me to pray for something, I can note it down, write down what I want, and then I can stick it on my pages afterwards. So there's also that option, which is good. So I'm going to keep those. This, of course, is a robust page. Oh, we've got something really pretty coming up here. Look at this. Oh, oh now what am I going to do with these? Uh, these are not going to go in my print journal. These are vellum. And what it is, as you can see, it's a very thin, almost clear paper. So you can put it over something and then create an illusion. I love that. I am not going to put that in my prayer journal. I might put that in my Bible. Right, we have a time to play section. Has a notebook. We're getting towards the end now, so you'll have seen most of the things that come with this. Now I want to see if these now this is the pages I'm talking about. So if you have a page like this, really, really busy, really bright, really beautiful, really inspirational, you're having prayer time, and then you want to grab a notes. I've got these ones at the moment, but I have plain ones somewhere that I can't find. So then what I could do is I could put, stick this on and then write my uh, text out or write my thoughts out or write a prayer out. And then you can stick that plain bit in the middle and then you have this great easy page, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, pretty page, which I like. So I'm going to keep these ones in because these are the ones that I'm going to use maybe if I have a picture of somebody like I did before when I did pages with my children and my friends if there's somebody I want to pray for and I want to print a picture then I can use these pages because the boundaries the borders are really then nice and you can put the picture in with a white border on or something like that so I like that gonna keep that put it in this section so I have different sections now that I'm using this looks like a notebook pull this bit off this looks and it is like a notebook it's a drawing notebook a little so that's quite cute that you can keep oh, those stickers yes they're lick it stick it but in the age of corona i guess we're not licking anything so that's a good thing so let me put those out over here like a stamp here we go let's get folding some stuff to do but I think this is just beautiful it's like washi tape I love it you can almost cut them off into strips and use them or you can use them just as they are look how beautiful these pages are then uh, filled with creative color I just like those so we're going to keep that mm, this is going to go in my busier section so I'm going to keep those you're meant to of course you can use these pages anyhow but you're meant to kind of fold them up to make these little um, hearts and, and make a hanging thing I'm obviously using it as a prayer journal so I've abandoned the system that they have look at these stickers if you've ever wanted to upgrade a keyboard teach a child her letters you know there you go that's a nice way of doing that so that I'm contemplating putting those on my can you imagine having those on your keyboard look how cute they are mm, I might do that we'll see we'll see if I put it on here we go, some wrapping paper. So these are some of the patterns you've seen before, but these are in the wrapping papers. So we put those separately. They're obviously not going into my journal. Um, I could if I wanted to, but I don't. So I'm putting that separately. Ooh, what's that? Oh, what is this? Surprise piece of paper. It 
that is a for you it says and then it has all that space on the other side so I'm going to imagine that this is writing paper look at the little sheep on the middle that's so cute look at this that's really adorable and they have different types of writing paper so that you can I'm going to use these of course as my journal pages I love that let's see if you can get it all out one go here we go but I'm going to use it of course this way first in the book so that I can use this side to write on because I, I tend to write this half of a page and leave that half I don't know it's probably something about school I would imagine is what did that to me now what is this this my friend looks rather interesting I don't know what that is it's like stickers but what would they be stickers for? I think you have to count the numbers and then stick it and make a picture. Oh, maybe I'll make a video of me doing that just for fun. We'll see. Oh, goodness me. That was quite, quite a lot. Oh, more wrapping paper. Excellent. Got to love. Oh, no, this isn't wrapping paper. These are posters. Look at those. How cute is that? Got to love these posters. Now, what can we do with a poster? That is the question. I'm a grown up. I don't have many posters on the wall anymore, but these are art. So you could frame them and hang them. Oh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those. Keep that to one side. Posters and waste not, want not. Now, this is nice. These are beautiful girls. Let's see how many of these are beautiful pictures, aren't they? Look at the girls. I think you have giant ones of these girls, which is nice. And then those look like the envelopes that go with the girls. Does that mean I could send them to people? Oh, that's exciting. So we're going to pull those out. And then is there anything else I can use for my prayer journal? Right, I've got a piece of card here. I've got a clock. That also came with it. And I have an extra notebook. Look at that. How cute. So... That was in the time to play section. I understand it now. Lots of playtime. Excellent. I understand it. And now what you're left with is a shell of its former self. All I have is that. <laughs> all the paper is out. All the stickers are out. And now it's time to make a prayer journal. So let's see how we get on with So what you can see that I've done is I have begun to put all of the holes in. So it's a really simple process. I have a regular hole punch. I've told you already that mine is broken, um, but the punch works, so I don't have the thing for the uh, measuring. However, there is more than one way to measure something. And so when I'm looking at this paper, what I do is I make sure all the paper is straight. I then go in and I make sure finger touch to make sure it's perfectly aligned at the edge here. So edge to edge, so that I know where the holes are gonna be on all of them. Give it a good push. I've done more than more than I normally put in um, and then do the same on the other side so then every piece of paper is done to the exact same system there you go and so you can then line them up perfectly and put your rings in so that's the first stage is complete I just need to put my rings in Right, so because of course I'm a bit obsessed with uh, the colours coordinating and everything, I am picked today four blue ones because I think they match with the colours on the inside. I like to have them a bit bright. You can of course get silver holes. You can tell that the hole goes all the way through. Um, they're very easy to open. You just pull and uh, twist. And then you simply ensure you have every single piece of paper pull it through and snap it back together simple as that so we go like this do another one I tend to try and do the two ends because it means then that the middle is a little bit easier and a good way to check that I've got all the papers just give it a quick wiggle all the papers are in and then I should be able to get the middle two through without any problems so that's just a case of wiggle 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 and we have the middle two through without any problems. And then all I need to do now is to make a proper cover for it. And of course we're done with that. So just going to snap that together. 
um, I had said that I wanted to show you that I was going to change the title here. So I'm just going to get one of my small notes, which says Joy on it. I'm going to put that there because I think that's about the right size. Don't you agree? I'm going to write prayer list here so I know which section I'm in. It's my prayer list section. And then in this case, I'm actually going to use some tape, some clear tape to stick it in place. To give it just a little bit more robustness of being you can see that you can barely see the tape which i love and the clear tape i love this kind of tape because it looks white and it looks like it's not going to go clear and then as soon as you use it you realize oh, i've kept all my design work it's no problem i just need to stick it down properly bob's your uncle betty's your aunt and there you go and it blends into the to the page so this is my prayer list section I want to have a tab here so I'm gonna just find my washi tape which is here I've got some washi tapes that I love and I want to seal off the section so that I can have um, just a tab to know where to, to look no I think I'm gonna go with glitter I'm gonna go with glitter so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to it's about the same tonal range. I am going to find the end of this beautiful washi tape here. I think this is the end. It does look like the end. Maybe I've just broken it in the middle. I don't know. <laughs> we'll soon find out. Oh, I've broken it in the middle. Never mind. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to strip it on the edges here when I find the end again. Here we go. Found the rest of the end going to just put it on the edge here and then I'm going to stick it over the page so that this highlights to me when I'm flipping through where a section is you see so just very simple it's like doing the chapters of the bible you can do the bible papers but now when I look I can see that has a it's a thicker card anyway but it has a slightly different edge and I can then go to that section quickly um, if I want to just write a list. And I'm going to do that, of course, again with the other section where the writing is so I can feel it. Time to slow down. I'm going to leave the time to slow down because I like that section. And then I'm going to do the same colour again if I have enough washi tape to do the same colour again just to keep the consistency, just because I don't want to go, taking too long to go through the washi tapes to find the colours that I want. Oh, something's not right here. Ah, oh, I'm at the end of the washi tape, so let's not put that back in. Um, I need a print stick, and then I'm gonna stick that down with some tape. There's nothing that tape cannot fix. So I'm just gonna make the tape a little bigger over the top. There we go, so the glitter is going to be a little bit bigger than I would normally anticipate. And then I'm going to fold that down. And that end one has a little bit extra because it's got the tape. So now when I'm looking for the next section, of course, you immediately see that's the section. And I can get to it quickly and easily and start my, my journaling, my prayer journaling. And then when I want to do a prayer journal, if I want to just note down something, I can note it here. If I have time and I'm doing prayer time in the morning or one of my prayer groups, then I can use this space here to write my notes, draw pictures, add dynamics, write out the text that we're focusing on. Whatever it is, write out a prayer. I can use this paper for that. So I hope this has given you an idea of how to use pretty paper if you have just cardstock paper or, or pretty uh, writing paper or coloured paper or you've got even wrapping paper that you love that you want to use for something. I hope this gives you an idea of how you can use it to create a prayer journal. I told you I would set up my new prayer journal with you so this is going to be my new prayer journal with my prayer group. Enjoy, have a lot of fun and I will see you next time when we continue our journaling and uh, 
expression journey. All right, bye-bye. Hey, so I did it. It's finished. It's done. I hope you can see it's got a shiny new cover and back cover on it. Um, I used some of the thicker card, as I've done in another video, um, and I laminated it so it protects it. And then I've put some stickers on so that I can have nice words. Obviously, you're seeing it back to front. I apologise. Um, but you can see there. And then when you open it up inside, of course, you've got my beautiful thing. And as I said to you, I was going to cover over the, the months and use it as a list. So I've started writing in it already. So I'm very excited about this. I'm quite excited to just get in and start using it to pray. Um, I think this is going to be a good prayer journal. So I recommend it. Basically, you can use anything you like, of course, that you have lying around, any fancy paper that you've been given, any writing paper, any uh, coloured paper, anything at all. Um, I use stock paper. Um, in this particular one, of course, I use um, the Flow Journal because that the Flow Paper Lovers book has the nice papers in. But you can use absolutely anything you have or even create your own paper. So it's up to you. But basically... The idea is now that I can fill it with all of my prayers. Um, I think this one's going to take some time to fill, unlike the last one. I managed to get through that fairly quickly. But I'm noticing already as I sit to do something that I am going to be in this prayer. This prayer journal is going to last me the year, I think. So we'll see. Um, we'll see you here on the next video. Hope that you enjoy it. Really hope that you like it. Um, give it a try at home. Let me know how you get on. Um, and we'll see you next time. Okay, bye-bye.